Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching angel answer card for the year. So what do we have angels? What is the message that Sagittarius needs to hear please? Oh wow! <laughs> we have yes, yes. Whatever you've been asking the angels, spirits, guides for, the answer is yes, this year, 2021. Such a positive, positive affirmation. Really, really beautiful. Okay. So Sagittarius, I'm going to pull 12 cards. The first card is January. And then we'll do a card per month. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Message for Sagittarius for 2021, please. What is the message for Sagittarius for 2021? Thank you. Okay, that card flew out. Two of Wands. So that is January. It's fire energy as well, which is very good your element. February, we have the Fool. Two of Swords is March. Three of Swords, Sagittarius. I'll pull one more with that one. Is April. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. Nice energy. The Magician, I love this with the, after the Three of Swords. Um, May time. Four of Swords is June. And that Four of Swords could be dealing with, dealing with the Three of Swords. It's not limited to that. July, we have the Three of Pentacles. Nice. The Page of Swords is August, September, we have the Hanging Man, wow, the World Card, <laughs> these are beautiful together, um, we have in October, King of Cups, we have in November, and Sagittarian energy at the end, we have the Eight of Wands, lovely energy, Sagittarius. Okay, so those are your cards for 2021. So let's start here. We have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is about when you find yourself at some kind of crossroads or you're ready to take a chance in a new direction. Now, I am seeing this, obviously, you know, there can be some overlap here. The Fool can be about taking a chance, um, sometimes to do with risks, maybe, you know, not limited to that, obviously. Maybe some kind of new beginning, you know, making life choices towards that. So January and February might be linked to that. Now, the Two of Wands can be two opportunities that you're choosing between. It's fire energy. It's an empowered energy. Let's not underplay the fact that this person has the world in their hands. And I'm interested in that the world is coming out here as well for you too, Sagittarius. Um, so this is somebody who is making inspired choices, decisions from a position of power. Um, to go in, to choose between maybe two paths, two options, two directions, two opportunities, what they want and what they don't want. And remember, this can promise. I mean, the ones are all about growth, potential, success, really exciting energy. Um, can also be about uh, future planning, uh, making decisions, choices that will bring progress, you know, really nice energy for that reason. So a lovely start to January. And the Fool is a new beginning and it's such an optimistic energy. You know, there is powerful divine light shining on the Fool as well. Fool as well. So there's a feeling that you are being blessed, watched over, guided on this new beginning, new phase of your life. Can be about risks, can be about being a free spirit. Um, 
a spontaneity and it might well be there's just some spontaneous decision that you're making here to go in a certain direction give something a go take a leap of faith take a chance that kind of energy to Sagittarius not for everybody um, but it is a powerful new beginning so new beginning next phase is call it what you will so interestingly enough in March we have the two of swords which can be about Feeling a little bit stuck can be about um, difficult decisions or where you're just weighing up your options. I mean, there's levels to this card. And the message is to trust your intuition because when we can't see things with our normal faculties, our senses, that's when our sixth sense kicks in, our intuition, because spirit is guiding you in the right direction. So sometimes this can be a card of... of just wait until things become clear don't act um it's interesting because we have the action cards here and then we have the the month of march which is just wait for things to pan out wait until things become clear wait until the right time you have all the information to make decisions choices so that could be a little bit of the energy in march here now we have and it might well be to do with this you know these energies march april might be to overlapping a little bit the Three of Swords can be about, I mean, there's levels to this card. It can be about disappointment, emotional pain, third party situations. It can be to do with, in whatever aspect, because it is a general reading, whether it's work, whether it's family, friendships, um, loved one, you know, partnerships, uh, relationships. It can, it can be that some truth is coming to light that causes disappointment, emotional pain. And remember, the Three of Swords is surrounded by the clouds and the rain and when this wound is exposed to the rain it starts to heal so i definitely feel this healing energy as well because it's virgo which is about healing it feels like how you're dealing with this it is to focus on the positive practical things that you can do might be your money and career or what is going to bring you stability and security in your life the practical pentacles energy small steps bring giant leaps with the eight of pentacles it can be a card of, of um working through a situation hard work um but bringing change as well because the eights can be about mastery and change so I'm definitely feeling, even though there may well be some something coming to light here uh, or some disappointment, um, it feels like you're working through it in a positive, constructive way. And here we have the magician. This is May. The magician is manifestation. So what is it that you want to manifest? You have the resourcefulness, the power the inspiration by universe god the divine as well to bring positive change to your circumstances so the magician asks you what is it that you want to change and because now is the time to bring change transformation to us to a situation that could be in whatever area the magician is focused intention focusing upon something with unwavering faith in your own abilities to bring something to fruition so it could be changing something negative to positive can be changing a thought and making it real that is the magician energy it can also be a new path unfolding for you as well by your own actions lovely energy the magician can also be about communication as well you know that kind of energy too sagittarius so june we have the four of swords so it's interesting because i've got two three four of swords here so there's progress in terms of and the sword is to do with your mind your perspective how you're seeing something um really positive energy because this is about deep contemplation and um, deep thought getting clarity in your mind in how you need to move forward um it can be a card of recovery definitely beautiful energy the four of swords it feels in this energy that I mean, it can be about maybe recovering, getting your head around a situation on how you need to take action moving forward. It can be a card of re-strategizing, thinking something through, getting perspective and understanding how you need to move forward. So that might well be a powerful energy in June, Sagittarius. 
But July, it seems like whatever wisdom that you're finding here, answers, information, you know, the Three of Pentacles is putting it into action. Now, the Three of Pentacles can be about... Um, it can be about teamwork collaboration. So there could be, for example, this can be excelling in terms of money and career. If you're setting, setting up your own business, maybe business partnership or as a team, you might be doing that. It can be about property but developing or doing up a home, maybe a new home. Um, can also be about prioritization and taking advice from other people on how to get found set, firm foundations back in your life. So really powerful energy there, Sagittarius. But it is a card of the beginnings of success. And whatever you're manifesting here, it seems to be taking form here because this is about it becoming real, the first stages of it becoming real. Now we have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords can be about communication, news, information, piece of data, you know, that kind of energy. The pages are messengers, but it can also be the pages are all about the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new as well. So this might well be where you're focusing on looking forward, maybe making decisions or choices on how you move forward. Because again, we have the clouds of confusion are being blown away by, and you know, we're revealing the blue sky and is clear thinking, crystal clear thinking. Um, so maybe some poignant decisions, choices here can also be an energy of curiosity, giving something a go, you know, that kind of energy. Oh, I think I'm going to go in this direction. Oh, I think I'll make this decision or choice. Oh, let's just give this a go and see how it pans out. You know, that kind of energy. The pages can be quite fun energy. They're innocent, um, joyous, uplifting, youthful. You know, it's that kind of energy here. We have the hanged man. Now, the hanged man can be a card of... Um, stagnation it can be a card of waiting it can also be the need to look at something in a different way Sagittarius um, sometimes we feel in limbo with the hanged man so it might well be that you feel a little bit in limbo this month um, it doesn't feel that it's going to last for long certainly with the page of swords one side and the world the other um, so the message with the hanged man is you need to look at something in a different way to find solutions to see the way forward to find answers, you know, that kind of energy. It's opening your mind to new possibilities that you might not have considered had you not been in this reflective state, in this period of limbo. So for example, and I'm not saying this is the only one, it's just giving you an example. It can apply to any life experience. It might well be that you're looking at somebody, um, for example, it might well be that, you know, there's a, if you want a, a, a job or career or opportunities and you don't see any future in a current industry because that industry is not particularly doing well, it might well be you look at transferring your skills to unconsidered industries that you hadn't looked at before. You know, it's that kind of energy. Now, yes, this can apply to health. This can apply to um, health, you know, maybe health. Um, putting you in limbo could be money and career feeling in limbo could be in terms of love romance relationships or it could just be generally um, I need to give something some thought and look at things open my mind in a different perspective to understand how I need to move forward find solutions you know that kind of energy the interesting thing is the world card is right next to the hanged man so Do you see what I see? So the world card has the same stance. If you look at the hanged man in this way, very similar stance to the world. So whatever solution that you're setting your sights on here, whatever this is, whatever answer, way forward, enlightenment you're being given, it is giving you the successful conclusion, achievement, accomplishment in October. So powerful month, September and October for you, major arcana, could be some light bulb moments, some inspiration, 
of something that you hadn't considered just coming to you and again it's linked with this now the world card can be about completions ending of a cycle being ready to step into the next phase of your life it's very powerful energy can be about worldly success accomplishment um, this is number 21 this is 12 so 21 reversed um, so the cards are interlinked and it is the vision is almost kind of like fulfilled with the world card so it definitely feels like there is some link here in terms of something that you are finding with this hanged man energy is definitely coming to fruition in in october um this is a card of success worldly achievement celebration um victory winning through it's a very very positive energy and you've learnt lessons with the world card but you know you're not held hostage to the lessons of the past you're ready to expand step into a new phase of your life so very very powerful energy if you feel stuck this is about looking at something in a different way because that will bring the solution to your problem september october powerful now, Sagittarius, uh, the King of Cups, this could be a person in your life um, can also be you. So if it's a person, again, some, the Cups energy is to do with your emotions, feelings, joy. So this can be somebody offering you love, giving you loving advice, can sometimes be a parent, you know, male or female energy, um, someone very caring, compassionate around you, um, very diplomatic as well. <laughs> Um, saying all the right things that you need to hear, you know, that kind of energy. But it's because, you know, they speak the truth, they speak from the heart. So lovely energy. Um, card of Scorpio. They can also be offering you something. So love, uh, an opportunity that brings you joy, very beautiful energy. It is a card of, if this is you, it's a card of mastering your emotions, finding your emotional balance. Um and, you know, the King of Cups, and I'm looking at this as well. So it might well be between these two months, you're, you're doing something keeping your cards close to your chest. Now, an example will be, and it's not limited to this, it can apply to any life experience. But if you're currently employed and you want to go, you know, you want to move to a new job, for example, um, and you might be having interviews, having conversations about opportunity, this is about doing things under the radar, keeping your own counsel, there's secrecy involved here. So, it, it, but for the benefit of, of, you know, you not sabotaging your current situation. So that can be an example of that, but obviously it might apply in any life experience here. So that might apply to you as well. Sagittarian energy at the end, I love this energy. So this is about positive shifts, movement, um, can be about travel, uh, can also be about opportunity coming in out of the blue. So connections um, can sometimes apply to distance relationships for me as a reader, can also apply to, um, you know, interviews, connecting with people, um, conversations leading to something solid. There's a shift, there's swift movement, swift change with the eight of wands. And each one of these ones promise growth, potential, very very beautiful energy so i love the reading sagittarius i hope you enjoyed it that is what i have for you for 2021 i wish you a wonderful year and i will see you next time thank you